Uh, thanks, Justin. Well, next up on our back to school tour, we've got prior public schools. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee spoke to the superintendent there. And Amanda, uh, what did she have to share ahead of the school year? Good morning, Corey. Superintendent Dr. Lisa Muller tells me that they have some exciting changes for the district as well as some challenges that they face getting ready this summer. Dr. Lisa Muller is going into her third year as the superintendent of Prior Public Schools. She tells me Prior may be a small district, but it's a growing one. Our enrollment is increasing. Uh, we have just under 3,000 students. That's an increase of about 100 students, and it's primarily from the natural growth in the rural community. Now, to serve those students, Dr. Muller is proud to report they are 100% fully staffed. This year has been a, a good hiring year for us. While there can be some turnover of staff throughout a year, she says they usually have a good track record of keeping that rate low. Most of the time we were able to, to uh, have our employees who begin with us to, to finish out the year, but certainly there are times that, that, that something happens and then we have to work to replace them. The challenge for them comes with substitutes. That's something that we definitely have a need for. Uh, we encourage uh, anyone who might be interested in substituting to uh, contact uh, Action Group Staffing, who is who we partner with uh, to hire substitute teachers. But that is an ongoing need that, that we have during the year. Over the summer, the biggest focus for prior public schools has been starting and completing renovations at Jefferson and Lincoln Elementary Schools. Both schools have now replaced their windows and roofs. In addition to that, two hallways in Lincoln Elementary are undergoing classroom renovations. The superintendent says one hallway is complete, while the other will be finished during the first semester of the school year. That had not been renovated for quite some time, and this brings those classrooms up to, to where our other elementary classrooms in the district are. And those were all paid for with the most recent bond issue that passed uh, in uh, two years ago. While the classroom renovations are finishing, she says a local church is helping to house four classes until it's complete. Superintendent Muller added that more projects using this bond money will be kicking off soon, so she's excited to see what's to come. In prior Amanda Slee, 2 News Oklahoma, let's send it over to Michael Say.